real estate, always a hot topic. And this morning, we've got someone here with some tips and advice for both home buyers and sellers. Las Vegas Realtor Dennis Chante joins us in studio once again. So welcome in, sir. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. Yeah, great to have you. So let's kind of dive right in. Let's talk about what Knight Real Estate does. Sure. So what we know when someone's buying or selling a home, it is the biggest financial decision that they'll probably make in their life. Um, we know that there is hundreds of thousands or even millions at stake. So we take our job very serious. We give every client the highest level of customer service, care and professionalism. Um, and that's what's earned us over 700 five-star reviews on Zillow um, and best of Zillow awards, uh, best Zillow team in the region. So, you know, we're, uh, we're very happy to give the best service to everyone and go that extra step. What is, it, what is it that you guys do that, that puts your head and shoulders above your competition, you know, continually getting good reviews and, and, and ratings and those kind of things? I think that we strive to be more than just order takers. You know, so many realtors, they're just zoned in on, you know, four bedroom, pool, Summerlin, you know, and we go one step ahead and really sit down, learn their needs, you know, see what their idea of a nice kitchen is, what their idea of a big backyard is. That way when we're looking for homes for them, you know, we're not wasting their time and we're sending them exactly what they're looking for. Yes. Now we know that there are so many different processes when it comes to the real estate process, whether you're buying or you're selling. So talk to us about why timelines can be really critical in those moments. Yeah. So we have a saying in our office, um, you're only as good as your timeline because you are in a legal contract. You have to, you know, abide by the timelines and that's an easy way to blow a deal for your clients by, you know, not um, keeping an eye on the timelines. So like if I'm representing a seller, I only have five days to get certain documents over to the buyer. So if we, you know, don't get those over in time, the buyer's able to back out with pretty much zero repercussions, you know, so you don't ever want to tell your seller that you lost a deal because you didn't send a paper over in time. Same with when you're representing a buyer. They have a certain amount of time where they can back out of the deal. Um, and if they try to back out, you know, after this, a lot of time period has passed, they could very well lose their deposit, which could be 3,000, 5,000, even 10,000 and up. And there's nothing you can really do to get it back. So we, you know, we really strive to keep an eye on our timelines. That's what we say. You're only as good as your timeline. So we take it really serious. I don't ever want to be the one to tell my client, you know, that I lost their deal or their money. So. So timelines are important. Another thing that always seems to be key is the words interest rates. Um, interest rates have, have kind of soared recently with regards to home buying. I've seen and read a bunch of things myself where people say, hold out, wait for it to go lower. Mm -hmm. There's not always the best advice, right? There's a reason why people should maybe pay attention now and, and consider buying with interest rates being at the prices they're at. Yeah, because one thing that a lot of people aren't taking into account is when interest rates do come down, there's thousands of buyers waiting on the sidelines that are gonna flood the market. Now we know we already have about half as many homes on the market as usual. So all these buyers are gonna be competing for these same homes, which is gonna drive up bidding wars. And now people are gonna to have to bid well over the asking price in order to beat out all the other offers. So I know their goal is to save money by waiting, but it's actually- you know, that, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and another thing is home values appreciate monthly. So the longer you wait, the, that home that you're waiting on is going up and up every month. So really, you know, people that were last year saying, oh, we want to hold out. Now they see that same home is selling for a lot more now. And they're saying, oh, I should have got it then. So. That's right. Now, I want to talk about because Knight Real Estate, you guys are heavily involved in the community. And that's one of the things, you know, I really love about you guys. Talk to us about the recent event that you had with the Foster uh, Friday Foundation. And then what you've got coming up. Yeah, so we love animals. Um, we put a lot of time into animal rescue and raising awareness, uh, awareness and donations for these animals. Um, we do a lot of work with our local no-kill shelters here in town. We just had our annual event. We had Zach White Cloud of the Golden Knights Out was our guest of honor. And it surprised me, he was really cool, really easy going, like mixing it up with everyone. I thought, you know, he was gonna be like, don't talk to me, but uh, you know, everyone thought like, oh my God, White Cloud is so cool. So it was really cool to have him be a part of it. Um, we got a lot of dogs adopted, you know, right there at the event. They did like a little runway, so it was pretty cool to see that. Um, yeah, it was a great time. Uh, I also do a lot of volunteering with Little League Baseball here in Nevada. So I coach Cheyenne Little League, uh, my two, my twin boys playing uh, baseball there in North Las Vegas. And it's kind of tough. These kids are out there playing their hearts out and there's really a lack of volunteers. There's, you know, barely any coaches, barely any umpires, volunteers to work in the snack shack. So, you know, it'd be really helpful if more people got involved, you know, give a little bit of your time to that. Yes. I mean, obviously, you know, we, we appreciate and love the fact that you, you reach out to the community, but your, your bread and butter is obviously your real estate. So how can people get in touch with you if they're looking to buy, sell, take advice and some of the great advice you've given? How can they reach out to you? Yeah, they can find me on Instagram at DJ Sells Vegas. Um, I'm sure they'll put my cell number up there on the screen. Give me a call, text. 
I can't help you if you don't reach out to me, you know, so even if it, you think it's something small, just a question, something little, give me a call, you know, shoot me a message, email, drop by the office, you know, I'm happy to help with anything big or small. And if you don't answer right away, it could be that you're manning the snack shack at the <laughs> Little League. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Pe people need to volunteer so I don't have to do it. <laughs> Dennis, thanks for coming in this morning. Always a pleasure chatting with you. Yeah, thanks so much. You to guys. learn more about Knight Realty, their services, and their great community events, just head to knightrealty.com.